Hey guys, this is Doombreaker here, and I'm here with another tutorial. Um, I'm going to say this, you are going to like this. Uh, I like this a lot, and it was requested by a subscriber of mine. So this tutorial is how to get a mouse position and how to set it to a specific location. So I'm going to show you three different things you can do with this. So um, first of all, we are going to get the mouse position. I have here a timer, which is set to an interval of 100, so you can just leave it. And then we also have a label, but there's nothing in it. I made it a little big. And uh, what this does, if we debug it, is it's going to show you the X and Y position of our mouse. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, how to do it is uh, like this. So, you just say timer1.start when the form loads. And then in the timer, you just say dim mouse P for mouse point as a point, which is X and Y coordinates is equal to the mouse position and then you just say label one dot text is mouse p dot to string and it's going to repeat this every time every time the mouse p or the mouse position is going to change and it's going to display it in our label come on hp so um i recommend you to make this application because it's going to help you in setting uh, coordinates and knowing where to set your mouse position so uh, now that we know how to get the mouse position let's go to set the mouse position so I have here a timer set to an interval of two seconds because I want to make a sequence going in a square and then to the button and it's going to change every two seconds and uh, then we have a button called button one with the text start sequence and that's all we have to do so before I jump into the code let's see what it does so I'm going to click the button and as you can see every two seconds my pointer is changing and then it just goes right to the button again so uh, how do I do this um, first of all you have to declare a private function um, set cursor pause library user yeah, and all that shit uh, I'm going to put this in the description for you guys so uh, you can just copy paste this or if you really want to type it you can just look at the screen now pause the video if you want and just uh, copy it now I'm going to dim stage as integer because this is going to um, make the sequence so I have four positions each of them following each other that's just to make a sequence you don't have to do it but if you want you can then very important um, private new x as integer and private new y as integer so uh, this is going to be the values that we are going to set so um, if you go to timer tick here you can see select case stage so it's going to check in which stage we are if it's stage one so uh, also I should go to the button first um, when we click the button the stage is going to be one just to start and we are we are there. we are also going to set the new x and the new y to these coordinates and then we are going to say the function set cursor pause with our new x and our new y so what this is going to do is it's going to say that the x of our mouse needs to be 300 the y needs to be 144 and then we just set it to that location and then we start the timer we do this some time to make a nice square and then here 
uh, to let it go to the button, we just say uh, dim form pass as points is me dot location. So this is going to uh, check on what location the form is. Then it's going to check on what location the button is. And then you just say that the new X is the button position dot X plus the form position dot X and new Y is the button position Y plus the form position Y. Uh, but if I did that, it just set my cursor to this little icon here and I wanted it to go here and I just did some guesswork and uh, figured that I needed to add 69 and 39 so that works for me uh, you probably have to um, check and guess somewhat uh, on your own but how I did it was I just debugged this and I use my get um, application to say if the cursor was here I was like uh, 140 and 141 and I just go to the button and just the difference between those numbers is the value that you have to enter here uh, no not here but um, here so yeah that's how I did it and uh, now let's move on also a pretty cool thing you can do is uh, this so I'm now using my keyboard to control my mouse. So as you can see, this is pretty slow, but uh, you can make it a little faster if you want. Uh, so all I did was just the same line again, just the same two uh, integers again. And then we are going to get our mouse position. Also, yes before we start to go to this you're just going to double click the form it's going to say form load and then here you can go to key down and then it's going to um, make this for you the key down event and this is where you put the code so you say dim mouse p as points is equal to the mouse position just to get our current mouse position and then you do a select case e dot key code so it's going to check which key is pressed and then do the code that's in here according to what key is pressed so um, the Z Q S and D buttons are uh, just the same as W A S D but I have an Azerty keyboard so um, those are the buttons that I use and then you just say uh, so Z is the top one which is going to do Y minus one so also if you didn't know Y is vertical and X is horizontal so yeah um, and then S is down so you just say y plus one q is left so you just say x mi minus one and d is right so you just say d plus one and if you want to speed this up you just change this to let's say five if we debug this you can see that it goes faster it's not as accurate as the first one but it is faster so yeah you can change it if you want but if you want to go um, like to the left and up you can see if I press Z and D at the same time it's just going to go in the direction I pressed last if you really want to do this then you need to add a case here so let's say case case D and case Z 
and you just say um, new x is equal to mouse p dot x plus 5 and new y is equal to mouse p no, mouse p dot y and then um, minus 5 so I haven't test this this yet but it should work and it doesn't but anyway this is just the basic so just forget what I just said let's delete it and also after this select case statement you have to set the cursor position to the new X and the new Y so um, this was the mouse position tutorial I hope you guys liked it if you like it like the video if you uh, like my content and my tutorials please subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot it helps the channel a lot it helps other people a lot so um, goodbye